We have a number of updates for the two-year-olds. I trained some today, um, trained some yesterday in Pennsylvania. So we're going to get right to it. A lot of these horses are turned out, so this won't take long. Adrenaline Rush is turned out. He'll continue to stay turned out until mid-December or so. We'll bring him back in. Barbie's Crown trained yesterday, two, three. No, Barbie's Crown is qualifying here in an hour. Barbie's Crown is qualifying an hour in Flamborough. Um, so I'm interested to see how she looks. Obviously, we can't watch the qualifiers at Flamborough, but we can look at the line afterwards. So interested to see how she's going to be uh, Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock, right before the races are the qualifiers now at Flamborough Downs. Uh, Beef and Cheddar, uh, we're in the midst of helping Matt, uh, the breeder of this horse, collect those shares of the horse up. Um, I think Matt just wants to keep him with his buddies in London, uh, down around the London area for his three-year-old season, which is fine with us. We've done our job, trained him down. Obviously a little disappointing, his two-year-old season, but at the same time, uh, turned out to be a decent horse. So I think uh, Matt wants to accumulate those shares and then keep him in in London with his buddy, so that's what we're going to try and help him do over the next month or so. Batters Hope uh, will be back in same time as Adrenaline Rush, maybe mid-December, closer to Christmas time. Blue Monk, I saw, damn it, I saw Kevin go in the bike with him today at the farm. I wanted to see how much how much he went with him and how he did. It was a nice day, It was a, uh, although it wasn't super warm, it was a good day and the track was in good shape, so I suspect he probably went a mile in 58 or 59 with him. Uh, Bramar will be out now, the, the tricky question is, I'm still up in the air. We're going to send some horses to Florida. And if we are, where do we send them? I don't know yet. So we'll see. Um, Better's Hope, or sorry, Better's Hope. Braemar may end up in Florida. I really think there's a chance that Braemar could be a real, real good horse. So do we train him down in Florida and send him to somebody in PA? That's a very good possibility. We'll see how things go with. Bramer as a three-year-old. We're going to do everything by the book and uh, point him towards a very good three-year-old season because I think there's a chance he could be. There's such a thin line between mediocrity and excellence really in the in the sophomore season that uh, you really don't know until you really push the button. Now the fact that he had won twice in 53 um, you know would lead me to believe that there's talent, there's speed there. He's never really shown me that he didn't want to be a good horse so let's assume that he is. So we'll see how uh, we'll see what takes shape with Braemar here as he heads into his sophomore season 2021, where he goes, where he trains down, where he ends up. Still all up in the air just yet. Brilliant Corners will be back in, uh, I guess, mid-December. A lot of these horses will be coming back the first two, three weeks of December, and Brilliant Corners will be one of them. Broadway Roll is starting to train now. She's been jogging up, I think. Uh, I didn't ask Kevin. I was jogging beside Broadway Roll yesterday, and she looked good. And I'd asked, uh, had he started training her? He said, no, she's up to five miles a day. So he'll start training her this coming week. Cambridge Star has been in 2-3. Now I thought maybe he'd qualify a school, but they said he was sick a couple of days last week. So he missed uh, a little time. He'll be qualifying next week maybe or schooling. He doesn't really need to school that bad. I mean, the horse qualified three times. Never Gate never bothered him at all. Uh, can't muscle me. Damn, I wanted to see her train today and I missed her. I was just going with so many horses. Harry's been going with her. He said she's training really good, really happy with her. Captain's maid is coming back. So somebody said, well, why isn't she back yet? Well, she's not back yet because they have to draw health papers. It's not as easy as, as it is here in Canada. And then we have to get a ride back for her. So she will be leaving this week and coming back to Canada to train down in her sophomore season also. Carry a big stick, as I said, trained today in 2.8. He's getting closer. Still a lot of rust to polish up with this guy. But we're getting there. We're getting there with the stick. Cut the line is qualifying today at Flamborough at 4 o'clock. Eternity Road. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people watch this to listen about Eternity Road. He didn't look as good to me on the track today. A little sore left hind. I had said to Jason, one of two things. We just keep j back off again with him. Keep jogging him until he sounds up. Or stop with him. Give him a month in the stall. Start jogging him again. Now, I'm a little torn on this. If we give him time off in the stall and bring him back and he's sound, is that enough time for any sort of soft tissue issue that's going on there? Did we just give him enough time or do we give him just enough time for him to look good? That's a big question. That's tough to ask. So give me, let me defer that question till Tuesday morning. Because if he looks good, I saw him Saturday. He looks stiff to me on the track today. If I see him, or I'm told by Jason, he was much better on Monday, just that day off helped, 
obviously there's something going on there, a little fresher than just some old scar tissue. It may be worth just shut, shutting him down for a month and restarting him. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but we're gambling. We continue to double down on Eternity Road being a good horse. We need to treat him like a good horse. We need to take the time to make sure he has the ability to become the horse we want him to and stay sound. We need to do it right. So let me defer any concrete um, any concrete uh, decisions we make on the future, the immediate future of Eternity Road until Tuesday morning. First glance, we'll be back, same as uh, the rest of those horses, middle part of December. Fox Valley Britska has been training. Jason said he hasn't even had the hobbles on him yet, and he looks great. He came a half in 104 with him the other day with no hobbles on. He thought he looked really good, so that's impressive. Glad to hear that. He'll be back within the next three weeks. Friendly Fringes was supposed to train in the race bike today. She'd been in 2-3, was supposed to go back again today, but was coughing, and I said, no race bike for her, no training. If she's coughing, just put her in the field. So it's going to have to push her back a week again. Girls with Swirls has been in 2-6. She made a little break the other day training at the farm, Jason told me. I think he'll be back. He'll probably train her Wednesday at Mohawk, I suspect. Um... Gray is the new red, is just gone out to the field. This is Philly, her GGT jumped. Her last mile wasn't bad. I thought she should have been second. She ended up fifth. Um, and then we took her blood after uh, two days later, and her GGT was high. So that's enough. Instead of trying to get it down and race her and then give her a month off, let's just give her six or seven weeks right now. Call it a day. Um, GW Chrome will be coming back again, middle part of December. Holy chick, 2-1. He's been with her. She'll be qualifying next week. Eglary M will be coming back when everybody else does. First part, middle part of December. I'm a lovely lady. Same thing. First part, middle part of December. I'm Hill on Wheels. back jogging now. He's actually down in Harry's Barn because Harry had some gaps. We had some horses that left Harry's Barn, were sold, or got turned out, or, or just gone. And we swapped. Uh, we had sent... We had sent I'm Hill on Wheels down there. I saw them getting him ready today. They said he's been jogging four days and he looks good. So that's a start. Good for him. Italian Grits going in, in Kevin's barn. He's got another week or so of jogging. Then he'll start training him back down. Jazzy Judy, the star of the week. She looked fantastic the other day in Delaware. Back in, picked a win from post seven at Dover Downs on Tuesday. Uh, Jesse Balboa, I trained today in 2-6. I wouldn't say he was awesome, but they said he'd been training down good. So I said, maybe we'll take his blood. Maybe you'll see a little elevated AST level, um, muscle count level on Monday. He was okay. He's going to need a few more training trips like that for sure. Um, Keystone Raven is training down, continues to look good. Should be ready in a couple of weeks, I suspect. Uh, let's roll on train today. He trained well. He's at least a month away. He's just started training now. Miss Morang will be coming back first part of December. Mama knows best. My jazz. All these horses. First part of December. They'll be coming back. No free lunch. Again, he's going to have a little shortened break. He'll be back probably December 15th, but he'll be back then. That'll be five and a half, six weeks for him. Uh, perfect record just went out. We're going to give him about three weeks, bring him back. He's not getting a lot of time off. Just three weeks for the perfect record, Colt. Rose Run Why Not will be done on Monday. She will get six weeks after that, so she'll be back in first part of January for the big girl. Uh, maybe the end of December we'll try and get her back here. Set the Mood. I trained Set the Mood in 58-4 and four today, 59 at the firm. Maybe it's a little short, maybe not, but he looked good. He did his work really well. I suspect he'll be schooling next week. Uh, Cyrus Blue Chip will come back in towards the end of December. So Admirable is back in now jogging. Stacy Hanover is back in now jogging. Sweet Ambitions, back in now jogging. There'll be a few more weeks before they can start training heavy. Uh, that's my girl. She'll come back first part of December to the middle of December for her. Tipsy and Dixie be back in the same time. Walk on the Moon, this horse needs to go to the field. Can't stay in the stall forever. So I'm going to send a message right now to the vet saying, hey, when can this horse go to the farm? Regardless, it will be this week coming. Uh, where we was up, probably won't start back with him for another three weeks or so, I guess. Uh, I need to talk to the vet again about him. He looks good. His leg looks much better. I think they have one more treatment set up for a week from now, and then he'll, I think he starts back after that jogging. Um, where we welcome will come in soon, this week probably. We'll come back in and start her up. Well and down. Will come back uh, first part of December and won my heart Hanover. Won my heart Hanover 
Got a little pacey yesterday at the schoolers. They want to draw her blood and see what her muscle count is and go from there, but I'm sure she'll be just fine. She had schooled in 2-1 the week before, so probably looking at another schooler or a qualifier for one My Heart Hanover this coming week. I'll be back in a minute with the three-year-olds and all the burns. Be back in just a minute.